Hey everybody, this is Lynn McKenna from I Do Makeup Ireland and today we're going to do a... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so we're just concealing around the chin, around the corners of the nose because that's where it gets a tiny bit red. And step three is I'm going to pop on a little bit of concealer under Nicole's eyes just to get rid of any purple or any blue or any red tones. And the concealer I'm going to use is MAC concealer and it's called Moisture Cover. Um, it's a lovely, lovely lightweight concealer. It conceals tones, however it's not really heavy so it doesn't look like a big load of product underneath the eye. I'm going to use a powder just to basically get rid of the shine from the T-zone. I mean, there will be a shine regardless because of the camera and because of the light, but I'm just going to pop a little bit on the T-zone just to mat it down ever so slightly. So yeah, the product is MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and the colour is Medium Plus. Now the next part is going to be contouring with a bronzer, which is one of my favourite things to do. And Nicole has an exceptional face that is already sculpted, so there's very little work necessary. But I still love doing it. So I'm going to use, again, MAC, and it's a bronzer called Matte Bronze. I love it because there's no sparkle in it. So you can get a lovely contour without it looking obvious, basically. So I'm popping my brush into it, and my brush is a 130 brush, I think, and if that's not correct, I'll put it in the description box. And it comes to a lovely tapered finish, so it comes to a point, so you can get right in underneath the cheekbones. just to bring out the highest planes of the face. So whenever Nicole turns her face in different lights or different angles, you can actually see the lovely dewy finish from the cream highlighters. So I'm going to use two mixed together because I'm a sucker for mixing things together. Um, one is called Hush, it's a MAC cream highlighter and the other one is called Pearl. So if you turn your head that way, I'm literally just popping it on onto the highest part of the cheekbone and right into the fry bone. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a small amount of highlighter with my MAC 224 brush. I'm just going to keep it bow. Is that taking it? is actually the eyebrows. I'm going to keep the shape that Nicole already has but I'm just going to make them slightly more arched and a little bit longer because JLo doesn't really have really thick eyebrows, they're just a lovely kind of natural shape. So for this I'm going to use MAC Lingering Pencil and it's actually retractable so you can give it a wee twist if you need more of the product. we're going to move on to the eye and I'm going to use another 217 MAC brush and I am going to use a cream based eyeshadow called Root. It's a beautiful colour, it's like a taupey browny creamy colour. So it does go on like a cream. I'm going to get Nicole to close your eyes for me and I'm going to start buffing it in.
So I'm going to use the same colour, root, I'm going to use my 217 brush again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually drag the product underneath the lower lash line just to bring the, cut, the shape all the way around the cold eye. So it's soft and smoky. Lovely. The next step is what I want to achieve is actually a darker colour then in the socket just to give a lovely 3D poppy out look. So for this I'm going to use a 224 brush which is also a MAC brush and as you can see it's tapered, it comes in a dome shape so it fits right into the socket which is ideal. Again we have a MAC palette, it's all about the MAC today. We have cork and we have corduroy. And I'm going to literally just work those two colours into the socket. So I'm going to get my beautiful model to hold that for me. So if you just close your eyes. When you're using like matte eyeshadows with a cream colour, base you have to be really quick otherwise it can just stick. And then I'm going to use my ultimate favourite colour in the world that you're going to hear me go on about for ages, it's called Wedge. Again it's a matte colour but it's really good for blending around what you've already done. So that's literally what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring the colour slightly higher towards the eyebrow but in a really seamless, lovely way. Fabulous. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a highlighter and bring it along underneath the arch of the eyebrow just to make everything pop for me. So what I'm doing is I'm actually using a colour called Floof which is a beautiful highlighter from MAC and I'm going to turn my face that way I'm going to pop it right underneath the arch and what that actually does it opens up the eye but it actually frames the eyebrow and the eye A white liner in the waterline of the eye just to keep the eye really fresh and really open. It is a smoky eye but it's a fresh smoky eye. So I'm going to use another MAC product, it's called Fascinating. And literally I'm just going to get Nicole's popper head down slightly and look all the way up to the ceiling for me and literally softly pop it into the waterline. Not too much because we don't want it to look like a Tipex eye. A little bit tickly, worth it. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like a really, really soft, smoky liner as opposed to a liquid line because I'm going to keep it fresh and smoky. And I'm going to use MAC, surprise, surprise, and the colour is Raven, which I absolutely love. However, it is an amazing colour if you can get it on the internet and eBay for like people with greeny brown eyes or bluey green eyes because it's kind of like a purpley red. And what that will do, it will just make the green in your eyes pop. And then I'm going to use my 219 pencil brush from MAC and smudge that so it gives me a lovely soft finish. The last thing I'm going to do actually is I'm going to just work the first product that we use, which is Root, onto the lid again, purely because I've been poking Nicole's eyelid and it's moved slightly. Now, next thing I'm going to do is I am going to put on some mascara and false eyelashes. Because JLo would never be seen without a pair of false eyelashes on. And she's a woman after my own heart. So I'm going to use the new MAC mascara, it's called False Lashes. So 
So you always put the longest part where the eyelashes are their longest, which is generally the end of the eye. And pushing it in, getting right into those roots. I love cheap eyelashes, especially if they're brilliant. How do they feel? Do you feel nice? That's a yes, everybody. I'm going to use my finger and literally just kind of curl them up a little bit. So that makes the eye look lovely and open. Another little top tip is that if any product falls onto the face, like say a little bit of mascara, get your mascara wand and get it off because it means you're not using your fingers so you're not removing the makeup that you've just spent ages doing. This is really natural actually, you could use this for a bridal look I think. I'm just going to swerve the colour around so you can kind of see the eyelashes, how long that they are and see the overall finish. And what I'll do is I'm going to use my little remote control zoom and zoom in. Okay, so I'm just doing a zoom look on now. Great. Yeah, that's perfect. Great. Okay. Next step is we're going to do a little bit of blusher. We're not going to take too much away from the contour that we just did. Because as far as I'm concerned, Jill just uses a small amount of blusher and keeps the contour quite sharp. Lovely. And now last but not least, I am going to do lip liner and like a brownie neutral lip on Nicole. So I'm going to use a MAC product again. It is an, a lip liner called Stone. I'm pretty sure that MAC still do Stone. It's a lovely charcoal brown lip and although it does look quite severe you can actually blend your lipstick into it and it just gives you a sharp edge to your lip without looking jody harsh. So this lipstick is a Pro Long Wear lipstick from MAC. Um, its colour is Till Tomorrow. Um, they're matte and they last for freaking hours. Lovely. And I'm going to pop on a little bit of glass. And this glass is actually Maybelline. And it's not MAC for a change, which is nice. And it is colour 622 and it's called Nude Pearl. I'm just going to kind of focus on the centre of the lips and just really keep the product there as opposed to popping it everywhere to make the lips look fuller. So this is our finished result of the JLO inspired look. Um, it's just a really natural, soft focus look with lots of definition on the eyes, introducing lovely shading with the browns and the taupes and contouring the face and introducing an element of highlight as well so the face looks three dimensional. Um, the lips are defined but natural, so we have a little bit of the stone lip liner by MAC and we have Till Tomorrow Pro Long Wear Lipstick and a bit of gloss and I'll write everything in the description box so you know exactly what's what. Um, and that's really it. And the next look will be Sophia Lorraine and it's going to be quite fine, so it'll be completely different to this. So I'd like to thank you all very much for watching and hopefully I'll see you all again soon. Thanks a million. Bye bye.